how to connect a Squarespace sales page to Flowdesk Checkout. Here we are inside Flowdesk, and I'm going to connect this checkout-only product with my Squarespace sales page. By selecting Edit, I'll be able to open up the checkout for the individual product. Clicking on Setup and selecting Advanced is where you can see the checkout link. Make sure this is the final link that you want to add to your Squarespace website. If you'd like to change this link, click the edit icon and update the text right here. Once the link is exactly the way you want it to be, we'll go ahead and click this X icon and under Publish, you can quickly copy the link to your clipboard. Here inside Squarespace, I'm going to select Edit on my sales page. In this very first section, I have a product block. I'm going to delete that block and I need to add a button. This button will link directly to our Flowdesk checkout. I'm going to pull this button down underneath the text and I'll double click on it so I can attach a link. Selecting this option, I'll paste my Flowdesk checkout URL right here and I'm going to toggle off open in new tab. I want people to stay on the same page when they go to the checkout. Now let's change the text. Instead of learn more, I'm going to replace that with order now with a Unicode character arrow and now this button will link directly to my Flowdesk checkout. Now let's take a look at the mobile version of this section by clicking mobile view. Let's scroll down here. The button looks perfect. All right, back to desktop view. I'm going to select this button and hit command C on my keyboard to copy it. Scrolling down here, we have another section that uses that product block. I'm going to delete the product block and press control V on my keyboard to paste the product button. Let's move this down underneath the text. I'll increase the size of that page section a bit so it looks a little better. There we go. Now clicking on this button, I want to double check that it still goes to my checkout page in Flowdesk. I'll double click on the button and look at the link and it's going to the right place. All right, let's look at the mobile version of this specific section, scooting that button over, making the page section larger. Perfect. All right, back to the desktop version. There are two more locations on this landing page for this button that we're going to replace. There's one right here. Let's delete that product block. Pressing control V on my keyboard, I pasted the button. I'll move it to the center, double click on it, and let's check. Perfect, it's going to the URL it's supposed to be. Let's take a look at the mobile version of that page section, align that button to the center, and that's exactly the design I was going for. All right, we've got one more location here in Squarespace. Let's scroll all the way down to the bottom. I'll remove this product block. Pressing Command V on my keyboard, I pasted the button. We'll pull it down underneath the text, double click on it, it's going to the right place. Let's take a look at the mobile view. Make that section a little bigger, much better. All right, let's select save and exit and it's time to test our new sales page. I'm going to open up an incognito tab in my browser and we'll go directly to this page on my website and let's click on the order now button to make sure our checkout page has opened in the same tab. Perfect, this is the checkout page for that product. Now we double checked while we were updating the content but you should always test the links on your website before you share it with the world. So let's just click through and make sure all of these links are going to that checkout page inside Flowdesk. Fantastic, we've got one more to go at the very bottom of the page. Order now takes us to the checkout and we've officially updated that sales page on Squarespace to direct people to our Flowdesk checkout. Back here in Flowdesk, just a reminder, if you select the setup option and hop into advanced, this is where you can change the URL for your checkout. If you change this URL after you've edited your Squarespace website, you'll need to go back into Squarespace, and let's hop into edit mode here. You'll need to update the URL for this button. This won't change automatically. If you change the URL in Flowdesk after you've edited Squarespace, hop back into Squarespace and change it there. Now let's say you love the URL and it's what it needs to be. How you can quickly copy it is by hovering over the word published and selecting copy, and that'll paste it to your keyboard so you can easily add it to Squarespace. Check out the related content linked below for more information about how you can make Squarespace uniquely yours. Thanks so much for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website.